What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Episode two of our modifications, our cosmetic modifications, if you will, plus power, there's power stuff coming. Well, stuff that's gonna help us plant the power a little bit better, I will say. But episode two, here we go. <laughs> Honestly, this is going to be something that is going to frighten a lot of you guys. Some of you will like it, a lot of you might not. But again, we have to take risks with the car, we have to set it apart, we have to make it look just a little bit different, a little bit different. Everybody in the world has a red Mustang, so how do we separate the car from the rest? Well, what's in this box is exactly that. And yes, we are going to be replacing my PP1 spoiler. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing that. Oh, honestly, I'm really afraid to do it because I love, love to death the PP1 spoiler. So what we have in this box, hopefully it will look okay. And if it doesn't, you know, maybe we'll just swap it back. We'll risk it. But if you missed the other episode, what we did was we did this. So we did our Ford Performance deck lid here, and we did the MF Auto badge here that matches the front. So we have a nice clean look going on, but this spoiler, we're gonna do something a little bit extreme. Actually, it's a lot extreme. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It is gonna be a little bit over the top, but you guys know how it is. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that's gonna change on the front of the car, but back here is what this episode is gonna be all about. So what we unfortunately have to do is take this beautiful, beautiful PP1 spoiler off of the car. All right, but before we do any of that, we need to do an unboxing. We haven't opened up and I haven't seen it yet. Go. Inside of this bubble wrap, I need something sharp. All right. Oh, man. Oh, boy. All right, what we have here is a gloss black from American Muscle MMD V-Series spoiler. Yes, this is going to be crazy. I can just hear it now in the comments, and that's okay. Let me know how you feel about it. But honestly, let's get it on the car. Just see how it looks. But this is the MMD. It's pre-painted, so what we're going to do now is just, since it is pre-painted, look for any damage. Look for any scratches very carefully. I don't see anything. It looks beautiful. No, we are good. So this is actually, and I know some of you guys told me in the comments, so like, please don't do the Stang Mode thing and the orange, that orange GT thing. But yes, we went with the same spoiler and I think it's gonna look hot. Black, we got the black and red theme going. I think it's gonna really set this car apart, especially once we start doing the, the future mods to the front of the car. So don't mess those episodes. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn your notification bells on because there's a lot more stuff that's gonna come. But this is what today's video is gonna be about, is replacing my PP1 spoiler with this. I don't know if it's going to be a mistake or not, but let's get started and find out. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. First things first is we pop the trunk. I love this thing. It's so clean with that badge. It looks great. But, all right, what we're going to do is you don't have to mess with any of this stuff here. You don't have to mess with the deck lid anymore. But what you have to do is take your little rubber uh, things out. They just twist out like a big screw. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull some of these pins out so that we can get some of the back screws, and then you gotta pop this thing loose so we can just get back there um, because there are some bolts. The other bolts are located here, so we're gonna take these guys out. And then that reveals a bolt there and a bolt there. Now, before we do that, I will say that if you are spoiler less, you will have to drill. I will not have to, thankfully, but um, it should all mount up in the factory location here. Things off, we have a 10 millimeter and you're gonna go in through the sides there, loosen that side up, that side up, and then we're gonna move forward. Man, I'm probably like one of the only few that is gonna do this to their PP1 car that actually has a spoiler. What am I doing? So on a PP1 car, you have the other bolts that are there and there. All right, be the same size, but it's underneath that guy right here. Okay, all the screws are out. So the next thing we need to do is get some fishing line and you're gonna get something to pry up on this. Be very careful you're dealing with paint. You know, if you want to tape off around these edges, you know, you could probably do that just to save your paint. Just be very careful. But you got one, two, three, and then four. Right, 
that is no joke. Be very careful, don't scratch nothing, but there's a lot of adhesive that's under there. And there's like a push clip as well. All that's gonna be covered up by this new spoiler, but that is a headache. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, here, and then on the other side, good Lord. All right, so it's possible, and it's all intact, nothing broken, it is good to go, nothing damaged. All right, let's set it to the side, all the other stock parts. All right, now the good thing about all this is that none of this is permanent. So if it looks like garbage after we do all of this stuff to this car, uh, you know, it's easily reversible. But we're going to clean up all this nasty stuff here, and then uh, that'll be it. We'll put the new one on. Okay, this kit comes with some pretty detailed, colorful instructions, and it tells you how to drill everything. It, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it comes with some adhesive promoter, and then you have your alcohol wipes, which we're going to use um, new hardware and it comes with these guys here these little foam pads So you just put them around where your screws would go other than that It's pretty simple, but you know again We're not drilling but it does come with these templates and instructions shows you how to do everything so job well done So now what we're gonna do is just clean the area just a little bit with this alcohol pad make sure everything is good to go I'm not putting anything down here other than just bolting it down But we still want to make sure that the surface area is as clean as we can get it, because that's just the right thing to do, honestly. All right, I do stand corrected. What they've done is they've pretty much painted over this whole thing, including the double-sided tape. So there is double-sided tape under here. And that's why you need the adhesive promoter and all that. So we're going to peel all of this up just like this, very carefully, because it's been painted over. So I'm going to stop the camera and then make sure that we do this right. We don't want to mess it up. Right, now, when you're finished, this is what it's going to look like. So you got double-sided tape. You got the little foam pads down, so I didn't have to move those. And then, then we can just stick it in place. All right, I'm starting to lose the light, but here you go. So these are a Phillips head. You have to just, it, I'll tell you what, this is a two man operation mounting this thing now, but it's just me, myself and I. So very carefully, very skillfully, we got through it. But you need to line up this spoiler. Remember you got the sticky stuff on the back. So you have to try not to stick it and then just line up. I, what I did was one, that one, got them kind of tight, not all the way. And then you go for the center there and then really that's it so we're just going to put it back together roll it out of the garage take a peek at it and hopefully it will look good all right here we go that's different That is wild. That's not bad though. Honestly, it flows with the lines of the body and everything. I like how it comes up like this. Very different than the PP1 spoiler, but it doesn't look bad. It looks giant on camera, but in person, it's actually not. And the black on the red, the whole theme, it's, it's coming together, I tell you. In person, it is something. But, but you see how we transition from the front body lines and it goes into the rear? I'm trying to get you like good angles here, given the dying sunlight, but that's a good shot right there. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. But you can see in the back of the spoiler how it just humps over that, that back fender there, over that wheel. That looks really good. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't hate it. I was uh, honestly a little nervous because it, it does look pretty big and it comes up at a weird angle it's not weird it's just different I'm just trying to get you guys all of the angles because this is a major change I feel because a PP1 spoiler was hot but this is different, for sure. Here we go again. Different look for carnage here. It's what we call the car. 
So let me know, is this a little bit too riced out? Is it a little bit too over the top? Or do, what do you think? What do you like? Do you like it? Do you not? Now keep in mind, there's going to be some other stuff is going to be changing and that will dramatically make that spoiler tie in with the rest of the car but guys don't worry we're not going to rice this mustang out i mean <laughs> that's about as bad as it gets but honestly the mmd spoiler is one of the better spoilers that you could actually buy a lot it's very common a lot of people actually go with that and i think on this body style with the sharp edges and stuff it does find its way home on this car it looks good honestly all right now it's gonna be tough but yeah you can kind of see it there i know it's dirty but you can definitely see it in your rearview mirror up there as well so you can see the little humps there that looks pretty sweet i need to clean my glass it's so dirty but you get the idea hopefully one more shot at the back but i'm down low and that's what it looks like i was a car and i was sitting behind myself that's about how it would look and honestly it doesn't look gaudy it does not look too big it looks good i like the gloss black it looks sharp all right we're losing the sunlight that wraps up the video though um, very big change in my opinion. Some of you guys might think it's eh. Some of you might like it. You might not. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely going to take me some getting used to. Um, you know, time will tell. But it's, at the end of the day, it's not permanent. It is reversible. It's, it's easy to swap it back and forth. And I think it looks good, honestly. So let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have done it? Would you not? So again, if you made it this far in the video, stay tuned for part three, okay? There's a series of videos going on. There's a lot more stuff coming to the car. Uh, it's going to be crazy and intense. And the final package, I think that you guys are going to like it. I really do. I think it's going to really come together. It's going to be very unique and set the car apart. But stay tuned for those videos. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Hope that you'll subscribe and join the family. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. If you're racing on the weekends, if you're driving hard on the streets, any of that, stay safe. I'll see you later.